Today, we're going to be recapping a GameCube's disk drive. Here, we have a GameCube that has a fully refurbished disk drive with everything besides recapping. Notice that the console still doesn't read the disk. When it comes this far, where we've already reflowed the potentiometer, set it down to zero, we've also replaced the laser, at this point, we then know the caps are bad for sure. So we'll go ahead and swap the caps out on this board to make the console read discs again. It's as simple as taking out four screws from the top of the PCB, holding it into place. From there, we need to go ahead and remove the ribbon cable, one plug, desolder some wires, and remove one more push connector. From there, we have the PCB out of the disk drive. If we go ahead and flip it over, we can see the 10 capacitors on the back side of the PCB. We're going to go ahead and swap all of these out. Now, when it comes to removing the capacitors off the board, there's a couple different methods. There's the old tried and true way of going back and forth to each side of the capacitor until you can get it to come off. However, you serve the risk of making the capacitor explode from having too much heat put into it, as well as damaging the board. You could also use a pair of hot tweezers that'll pinch the capacitor from both sides, heating both points up at the same time and allowing you to remove the capacitor quicker. Once you've got your capacitor off, we recommend cleaning up the pads with a bit of solder and flux. Then, go ahead and take your braid and wick away all of the solder that's on the pads. This brings us to our next method of removing capacitors. This one isn't highly recommended, but it does work and it is effective. What we do is we grab onto the capacitor with something like a set of wire strippers to get a good grip. From there, all we do is slowly rotate the board back and forth. We don't apply any upward pressure on the capacitors whatsoever. Simply rotate the board so that the legs of the capacitor snap off. There's two scenarios that can happen. Either the entire leg and the capacitor will snap off and remove from the board, or the legs will snap off inside the capacitor and you'll have two leads sticking up off the board still. If this happens, all you have to do is take a pair of flush cutters and trim the legs down so you can remove the bottom plastic piece and then use your soldering iron to remove the leg from the solder. Once again, make sure you don't apply any upwards pressure as this will rip traces off the board. Simply rotate the board back and forth, keeping the movements horizontal. You also want to go ahead and make sure that you clean up the legs from the solder. You don't want to be trying to solder a new capacitor over the old legs from the old capacitor. Now that we have all 10 capacitors removed from the board and their pads cleaned up, let's go ahead and install some new capacitors. You'll want to make sure you install them in the same orientation that they were originally. If you forget the orientation, then look at the silk screen on the board. You want the black line to match up with the filled in section of the silk screen. You'll go ahead and solder all 10 of your capacitors back into place. Once you have all 10 of the new caps soldered on, we can go ahead and reassemble the disk drive to test it out. We'll go ahead and reassemble it just like we took it apart but in reverse order, reconnecting all the connectors and soldering the two wires before putting all four screws back into the PCB. From here, we can go ahead and reassemble the console for a test. We don't have to do a full assembly, just enough to test the console. And as you can see, it loads up the Smash Brothers game and gives us a message about no memory card being inserted. That means it's reading from the disk correctly. 
Now you've got a fully working disk drive for your GameCube. All you have to do is go ahead and finish reassembling your console, or continue on with your shell swap or whatever you're doing. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe. Check out our wiki link down below, and if you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord, which is also linked down below. And as always, thank you for watching.